So I would just say come and visit. It's not, people don't, are not living on trees, you know <laughs> what I mean? Like some people have like, but just take away all the nonsensical ideas that you may have. Even me coming to Kenya, mm -hmm. I didn't know anything about Kenya. And to make it even better, mm -hmm. when I came to Kenya, it was doing Mandamanos. So some yeah, people were saying, day. some people were saying, hey man, Kenya is unsafe. I'm like, yeah, get out of here. I'm yeah. coming to Nairobi. <laughs> That's what I appreciate about Kenyans, especially in Nairobi. Wow. People love to hustle. Wow. Entrepreneurial, minded. Yeah. Like you see some, some young guys, they come out in the street with their cameras taking pictures. That's a hustle. Yes. I think one of the things that people in Kenya can learn from the U.S. Yeah. is just have a pride with for your own country. You feel me? Because I think yes. many of us, like, like me, I was raised in Florida. What's up beautiful people? Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In case you're new here, my good name is Jan Nyanzi. Kindly hit the like button, subscribe to this channel and share the video to your friends. It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon in the streets of Nairobi, Kamakawa Kamadawa. Have met a fellow YouTuber all the way from United States of America. And I'm happy because he's in town today to do some content with me. Hello. How you doing? I'm good. What about you? I'm doing well. Nice to meet you and welcome to Kenya. Thank you. Thank you. Definitely. I, I'm blessed to be here in this beautiful country. Wow. For how long have you been around? I've been in Kenya uh, um, for about uh, five months now. Yeah, I've been in Nairobi. Yeah. Five months? Yeah, definitely. Wow. Yeah, I mean, it's been amazing. You know what I mean? I've been able to travel mm -hmm. to different places here in Kenya. I've been to Masai Mara. Wow. I've been there twice. I've been to Safari, uh -huh. Rift Valley. Um, How was your experience in Masai Mara? I mean, it was great, you know, just being with the Masai, seeing different culture. Mm. So it was a great experience traveling there, the landscape, just the beautiful hills, beautiful mountains. Wow. The Rift Valley was an amazing sight. So it was great, definitely. Is Kenya your first African country to visit? Um, no, I've actually, I've been to Morocco. I've been to Senegal. I've been to the Gambia. Mm -hmm. I've been to Egypt. And so now I'm in Kenya. What stood out for you in those countries? For example, like in Gambia and Senegal. I love Senegal and I'd yeah. love to visit Senegal. Yeah, I mean, the hospitality. Like for example, in Senegal, like they say, it is the country of Taranga. So mm -hmm. Taranga means hospitality. So, wow. so, so the slogan mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. is Taranga. Wow. So you know every country has a slogan. Like for example, the Gambia is known as the Smiling Coast yes. of, of, of West Africa. Yeah. Senegal is the, the country of Taranga. So when I was there, it could be three in the morning, mm -hmm. four in the morning. You walk in the street. It's very safe in Dakar. Mm -hmm. I mean, the people are very hospitable. That's what stood out to me. I never felt like I was unsafe in that car. Wow. Um, in the Gambia, mm -hmm. it's a very small country. But the surprising thing is, I never felt like I was in a small country. Wow. The heart is big. The, 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 just the culture there. Mm -hmm. You have the Fula, you have the, 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 the Wolof, you have the city, you have, like within the Gambia, they speak like at least like five, six languages. And so, the different dances, the different instruments. Like some of you, if you go on my YouTube, you'll see like the culture is just vast. It's, it's an amazing country there in the Gambia as well. Oh, yeah. nice. And the food is good. The food yeah. is good, Oh, it's huh? great, yeah. Nice. How about the infrastructure in those countries? I mean, the infrastructure, I would say, what, you just saw my Senegal and Gambia or, or? Like in Senegal. Okay, the infrastructure is great in Senegal. Um, that car. It's similar to Nairobi. Great roads. Um, I mean, the infrastructure is amazing. Like, you just have to experience it yourself. Like, the, the roads are not dusty. Of course, every country you have the, the city, and then you have, like, the countryside where, you know, it's off-road. So, um, but in terms of infrastructure, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. Great. Let's come back to Kenya now. Yeah. Any Kenyan food you have tried so far and you have loved? Come on now. Listen, <laughs> listen. I've been here for five months. It'll be a shame if I didn't try Kenyan food. Nyama listen, nyama, um, nyama choma, mbuzi. Mm. Ah. All right? Mm -hmm. That's my favorite. Goat. Goat choma. Mm -hmm. Of course, ugali. I mean, who wouldn't like ugali? You know <laughs> what I mean? And then all the greens. Yeah. Te -re -re. Yeah. 
Okay, I like managu. Mm. Okay, of mm. course, you know, um, spinach. I, of course, I, I, I love it as well. And then you have also what is that other food? Um, damn, the name is not coming to my mind, but it's with the beans and the corn. They mix it all together, the maize and the beans. That's Giveri. Giveri yeah. It's about time I give you a Kenyan name now. <laughs> of course. Guys, comment down below. Which is the best name to give my brother from, from US? I think uh, I'd give you a name like Kamau. Okay, Kamau. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, I mean, what's Kamau? Listen, everybody's laughing. I don't even know what Kamau is. <laughs> it's, what a is that? it's just a beautiful name okay. in Kenya for someone who loves people and okay. is more into entrepreneur. Definitely, definitely, yeah. for sure. Yeah, so right now we're in Kenya. Are you planning to visit any other African country? Um, right now, I would say one of the closest countries right now is Tanzania. Yes. I want to go to Zanzibar. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully Dar es Salaam. Yeah. But that's that's my next country I would say I want to go to. Yeah. And just enjoy the vibe of yeah. every city and and the people there. Definitely for sure. All right. Yeah. Any similarities you have seen between Kenya and the states? All right, similarities between Kenya and the US. Um, I would say similarities the hustle mindset. I feel like that's what I appreciate about Kenyans, especially in Nairobi. Wow. People love to hustle. Wow. Entrepreneurial, minded. Yeah. Like you see some some young guys, they come out in the street with their cameras taking pictures. That's a hustle. Yes. The ladies want to build their beauty salons. They want to like do their thing. You know what I mean? So so like just the entrepreneurial spirit, mm. the desire to grow and level up. I feel like. Within the U.S., I think that's the mentality that a lot of us grow up yes. with is that, you know, no matter what level you are, you don't have to stay there. You can grow. You can you level can up. Yeah. And so just that similarities are great. Um, of course, I didn't expect to find Burger King and, and Kenya. Yeah. So there's, there's Burger King. There's McDonald's. I mean, you can find it here as well. So that was an amazing uh, find. And just the infrastructure. I think Nairobi is in a, a beautiful city beautiful roads and so I think that um, there's th those are some similarities as well and so I think I'm, I don't know I don't like the there wasn't much of a culture shock because mm -hmm. I feel like the lifestyle here is great like I don't feel like I'm missing anything as if I wanted to go back to the US wow so um so yeah I mean in terms of food the food is good the, the music the vibe the people I mean I don't know mm. Like they say, Karibu Kenya, just come and enjoy it yourself. <laughs> Kari, one thing people from Kenya can learn from the people from the States. Yeah, I think one of the things that people in Kenya can learn from the U.S. Yeah. is just have a pride with for your own country. You feel me? Because I think yeah. many of us, like like me, I was raised in Florida. Yeah. Like, no matter where I go, I'm always talking about Miami. I'm always, I'm always talking about Broward County, you know, the 954, <laughs> the 305. Like... I, like the culture, you know what I mean? Like just have a sense of pride yeah. of who you are, no matter no matter what it is. Like um, be, don't feel that your country is so little that you feel that another country is bigger. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just, just enjoy your culture because that's one of the things I see. A lot of like African cultures, different countries I visit. Yeah. A lot of people are minimizing their own culture because they feel that Europe is, is the European way is, 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 is more advanced. So they want to adapt that more than what they used to. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like if yeah. you, if you Kikuyu, like enjoy your Kikuyu language, enjoy your Kikuyu food. Yeah. If you Kalenjin, Kamba, like enjoy Whoa. your unique, your unique. you know almost you know? The, 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 the tribes here now. Of course, I know the tribes, you know, I mean, I'm not going to tell you how I know, but I know. <laughs> I know. It. I know the reason. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that's what I would say, you know, just be prideful about your country mm. and, and just enjoy your culture and, and everything else will come. You know what I mean? It's good to learn about someone else, yeah. but always embrace yourself. Yeah. Vice versa now. Something people from the States can learn from Kenyans. Yeah, I mean... I think it's just continue to be open-minded. I feel like the, one of the most surprising things um, for me is how open-minded Kenyans were. 
You know what I mean? Like sometimes I will be in the Uber mm-hmm. and I tell the, when the guy find out like I'm from the US, like yeah. they they're like very welcoming. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And so I think like within the US, I think they should be more welcoming to to strangers because I think I feel like America is kind of divided yeah. right now. Yeah between immigrants and and locals like mm-hmm. natives you know what i mean i feel like america should be more open to continue to 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 elevate and and receive people and be more hospitable yeah wow. all right i'd like to ask something about the education system in yeah. the se- in in the states huh? mm-hmm. do you guys learn about the african history like i've seen some interviews whereby guys are asked can you name five countries in africa and yeah. go, people go like naming countries in the asia do you guys learn our our history um, okay well let, i cannot speak for everybody yeah but I can only speak, for example, my education as far as like growing up in the educational system in the U.S. Yeah. I didn't learn about Africa. You know what I mean? Um, within within our world history, it was more so centered on I would say Western um, Western. Uh, um, I, for lack of a better term, I wouldn't necessarily say Western exploits, yeah. but I would say it was more of Western conquests. Let me put it this way, not exploits, but conquests mm. in terms of um, Rome and those empires there. And of course, you may learn a little bit about Africa, but it wasn't vast to the, to the degree where you get into the root. You know what I mean? Yeah. A, a lot of the things that I learned about Africa, I learned it on my own through my own personal studies, but not necessarily through the U.S. educational system, yeah. Great. I know the way the Western media showcase Africa. Mm. It might look a bit different from it, the way it is on the ground. Yeah. How is it on the ground? And would you recommend anyone from the States to visit Kenya? Definitely. How is Africa? I would say Africa as a continent is very vast. Yeah. Um, it's multicultural in many ways, um, many languages, many foods. Yeah. And so I would say if you're someone who is open-minded, you want to grow, you want to learn um, different ways of life, then Africa is the place to be. If you want to just, I don't know, there is a sense of peace and serenity about every country that I visited in Africa. You know, the people may not be as, I would say, as uh, economically um, strong yeah. uh, individually as maybe someone in the U.S., but you would not know that because the the unity within the family structure is so rich that you wouldn't know who has more, who has less yes. in many countries. Like for example, in, in the Gambia, mm-hmm. everybody eats together. Wow! Whenever the food is finished, mm-hmm. it's one pot. Everybody put their hands and eat. You know what I mean? So you wouldn't necessarily say, oh, this person is hungry and has less, or this person doesn't have, you know what I mean? So there is a sense of unity, togetherness, family, serenity, and peace. I think you can find that here in Africa. You know what I mean? So it's not just about, of course, there's wars going on in the Congo. You have wars in many different countries like uh, Sudan, Somalia. So, So you have that aspect. But then again, that is not to say that that is the whole of 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 africa you know what i mean so so i would just say come and visit it's not people don't are not living on trees you know (laughs) what i mean like some people have like different ideas like as to what africa is like i told you Mm. like i don't feel that i'm missing anything like i can go to the mall and buy me clothes yes i can go to my favorite restaurants i in Nairobi, I can eat Ethiopian food. I can eat Mexican food. I can eat Chinese food. I can eat Italian, um, Italian food. food. Whatever it is that I want, Italian I can food. have it. We I have mean, all kind of all kinds. Food. You know yeah. what I mean? So that's just to name a few. So it's the same thing in Senegal. You know what I mean? So I don't know. You just have to come and visit yourself. But just take away all the nonsensical ideas that you may have. Even me coming to Kenya. Mm-hmm. I didn't know anything about Kenya. And to make it even better, mm-hmm. when I came to Kenya, it was doing Mandamanos. So some yeah, people were really. saying, some people were saying, hey, man, Kenya is unsafe. I'm like, yeah. get out of here. I'm yeah. coming to Nairobi. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, and when you I, feel really course, safe in of Kenya. Of course. You know yeah. what I mean? Because the thing is, the people, they welcome strangers you know what i mean they don't have an yeah. issue with you coming to the country it's just yeah. they want to make their country better you know what i mean so 
it's one all thing good. with Kenyans yeah. we are so welcoming and that's why many people prefer coming to Kenya definitely I agree with that and I think hospitality is is a is a African trait you know it's not just in Senegal and the Gambia it's just everywhere you know what I mean so I haven't had any I would say any unwelcoming experiences in, in, in Kenya yeah generally speaking I would say in terms of my observation mm -hmm. I think dating life is great you know there's beautiful amazing women in Kenya yeah. you know what I mean they're very respectful mm -hmm. and so I think as a man if you if you're a respectful person and you want to have experiences you can have great experiences you may even find a wife in Kenya you sure. never know so just just come and experience it for yourself nice. <laughs> So for any African-American who wants to visit Kenya, is it Kenya uh, an expensive country to visit? Um, it depends. I feel like this. Mm -hmm. There is levels for everybody. Okay. And I think no matter what level you at, you can have a good time in Kenya. If you're, if you're traveling on a budget, okay. you can eat food mm -hmm. that is on a budget. Like, I was surprised, you know. I mean, you can, you can find food at every level. Let me tell you this. I went to Egypt. Mm -hmm. The food in Egypt was so cheap. I didn't think that it would be similar to Kenya, but I would say Kenya's, the food is very, um, very efficient. And so, and if you're someone who is more like on the upscale, mm -hmm. I mean, there's an amazing experience here as well. So you can, you can go golfing. You can you can do so many so many Activities. beautiful excursions. You know, like if you into like me, I'm into adventures. So I was I've, I've been to the safari, mm -hmm. like I said, Maasai Village. I've been out to um, Kitengeta back there mm -hmm. on that side and enjoy some amazing excursions. You know, so there is a little bit for everybody. Yeah. Great. I don't know what is remaining to talk about, but. Uh, I want you to give out your YouTube channel. Yeah. Please, family, go back and support my brother. I've been with him on the streets doing different kind of interview, and I want you to go back, subscribe to his channel, and show him love. Yeah, definitely. So those of you, uh, my channel is called Kixkea Global Village. So that is K-I-X-K-E-Y-A. All right, Kixkea Global Village. Um, what do you do there? Uh, and so on the channel, I share my traveling experiences. Mm -hmm. And so when I go to, for example, um, Senegal yeah. or other countries, Gambia, mm -hmm. you know, I share my experiences. Even now in Kenya, yes. I share the experiences here. And so it's more like a traveling content, yes. more so like a lifestyle. Even when I'm in the U.S., I share my lifestyle mm -hmm. as well. So that's pretty much what the channel is about. Mm -hmm. And I call it a global village because I realize mm -hmm throughout my travels yeah. how unique we are and how similar we are as a human species mm. and so that's why I call it Kixkea Global Village once again that is K-I-X-K-E-Y-A Global Village Wow thank you so much for coming through on this interview and I wish you all the best on your channel but before we finish the interview what makes you happy oh man what makes me happy I think what makes me happy is just standing on my principles. Anytime that I feel that I'm standing on my principles, I, I'm standing on what I believe, uh, then I'm happy. Yeah. Wow. You so, wanted to say something. Yeah, I wanted to say, like, you're doing an amazing job as Woo! well. You know, because how, how I found Jan was on um, um, Threads. <laughs> You know, she, she was doing content on threads. Wow. And so I saw her, then I went on her YouTube. Yeah. I saw your videos with different individuals, and so I decided yeah. to reach out. So I just want to encourage you, wow. you know, just keep doing your thing. Thank you. Keep grinding, keep hustling, and you're doing an amazing work. Thank you. And uh, I, I definitely recommend you for ambassador to Kenya. Woo! <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Wow, thank you. Guys, this is the end. Make sure you give the video a big, big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel and share the video to your friends. See you next time. Bye-bye for now. Peace.